Hi, Eric with mobilemusthave.com and liveandlight.net here today to talk to you about the Pepwave Max BR1 Pro. All right, let's get started. Going through a summary of what we see here, we've got, again, what Peplink's kind of claim to fame is, wow, a heavy duty metal ruggedized construction mobile router. Two cellular antennas, two Wi-Fi antennas, a GPS antenna, and a four pin uh, 110 volt uh, power input adapter come standard with the kit. We also sell a 12 volt direct wire uh, three amp fuse, 10 foot uh, direct wire uh, cable option as well at mobilemusthave.com. That's an exclusive to our store. Now, what makes the BR1 Pro a popular unit for mobile enthusiasts? Well, to be honest, it's very similar to the Max BR1 MK2, just kind of its little brother. Uh, the biggest difference that this modem has is that it has more LAN ports on the front of the unit. So as you can see here, we've got four uh, LAN ports. These are all uh, gigabit LAN ports, and then our standard WAN port for connecting wired uh, internet sources, like maybe a cable modem or a DSL line. Like with all of the Max series models, this fifth port here can be reassigned from the WAN port to an additional LAN port. So that's very unique to the PepWave line, especially in this tiny compact form factor, the ability to have an integrated five port switch essentially. So if you have uh, a need for wired uh, ports, this could be very attractive uh, as an option for you. Kind of moving on, we've got our standard complement on the front of what we typically see here. Our Wi-Fi ports are on the outer side here. We've got our 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, our cellular, which is our cellular A and B, this is powered by a category six cellular modem and our GPS antenna port. A couple things that make this slightly unique, uh, we don't see on some of the other models. We've got uh, screw ports here for a wall mount access. It does come with four rubber feet here if you want to just mount it on a table. We've got our 12 volt direct power input here again with a removable plug that we love that allows you to leave that nice screw down 12 volt power but still remove the unit if you need to make it portable or just reboot it that is a nice touch there and then over here standard to our Pepwave models is our sim slot so we pop that open and again like in our MK2, we have our dual SIM slots. So we can take full size 2FF, don't put a small SIM in, to slot A here up at the top. We could load that with say AT&T, and then we have our slot down below. We'll flip that SIM over, continue to have the notch inward, and click that in and we could have, say, Verizon and SIM B. The Category 6 modem in this unit is compatible with all major carriers. We've had it working and functional with AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, Cricket, uh, Visible. Um, we've had it working with the, uh, the Google Fi network. It, it works with quite a few different cellular bands, which are described in the description. But the, the auto failover in the Peplink products gives you the ability to put in two SIM cards and then at a press of a button, use it either using their mobile app or using a standard web browser to switch from SIM A to SIM B with approximately 30 seconds of downtime hopping between cellular carriers, which is a very unique feature to the Peplink line. Now, the Peplink Max BR1 Pro does have one unique difference than uh, the MK2 besides this five port switch. And that is that these Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 or five gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, work at either 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz, not both at the same time like the MK2 does. That is typically why the MK2 is slightly more popular for just kind of an easy, quick, all-in-one solution but the Pro can really step it up for the right use case. And I'll explain one right now. What we see a lot of customers do with this modem is they assign this Wi-Fi to a roof antenna 
like our pointing five and one series or our mobile mark five and one series um, or even our, our Parsec 7-in-1 series. And they assign these Wi-Fi ports at the 2.4 gigahertz range to the roof antenna. Because it's not trying to do two and five gigahertz at the same time, we do find that the Wi-Fi as WAN functionality for connecting to campground Wi-Fi can sometimes be more reliable. They then pick up a AP1 small uh, interior access point and they connect that up to one of these LAN ports. So now they have a dedicated roof 2.4 gigahertz for the Wi-Fi as WAN and then they have a smaller AP1 access point inside the rig broadcasting on a different channel. That can be a very good mix to get you the best of both worlds while also giving you that five port switch that will be powered and running on 12 volts instead of most five port switches that are gonna to have to run on 110 volts. So it is a nice blend, but we do wanna make sure you're aware that the two or five gigahertz Wi-Fi is going to run at one frequency or another, not both at the same time. The Max BR1 Pro includes PepWave's proprietary auto failover technology. So you can have, say, Wi-Fi as WAN connected to campground Wi-Fi in priority one, and then your cellular modem in priority two, meaning that if your campground Wi-Fi fails, it will automatically fail over to the cellular. That can be very helpful if you have nest cameras or something else inside your RV or a temperature sensor for your pets, and you wanna make sure that if something occurs or fails in the campground Wi-Fi that you auto fail over. That's built into these modems. The additional option that you can do with auto failover is something called load balancing. What that means is you can drag your campground Wi-Fi and your cellular Wi-Fi both into priority one, and it will balance the campground Wi-Fi and the cellular across all of your devices. So your computer might go out the campground Wi-Fi and your, and your phone might go out the cellular. Um, they won't combine the bandwidth, but they will load balance, meaning you'll have more bandwidth overall accessible to all of your devices because some will use one connection and some will use another. Nice feature of this modem. That concludes the summary overview of the Max BR1 Pro. If you have any specific questions about this model, any concerns, anything at all, please go to mobilemusthave.com and you can start up a chat with me or one of our agents in the bottom right hand corner. You can also email us at info at mobilemusthave.com and we'll get right back to you as soon as possible. Thanks and we'll see you on the road soon.